Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, 3D uh, creation video. Um, as you can see there's not really a thumbnail, or uh, uh, not really a beginning thumbnail for the video today. Of course there was a thumbnail. A thumbnail. Um, so um, I didn't work on the... Um, I, I didn't finish or yeah, fix, uh, fixing the um the Saltro legs yet uh, was a bit lazy for the rest of the week and um, I will do that tomorrow what I'm working on right now is a few add-ons for my uh, for my current Yaha space and um, yeah since the space is about fishing for those who've seen the video about it I'm also working on um, custom um, models for my game, so I want to have uh, some some uh, custom self-made uh, models inside it and use the import function to its fullest. And this is what I'm currently working on, since the space is about fishing. Obviously, I'm gonna need some cool fish. Um, there's also there is a lot of different fish models in the uh, space but I wanted something very unique and special um, so I had to do those uh, myself yeah uh, the video is uh, cut into different parts uh, currently I'm working on the scorpion fish or scorpy fish uh, however you want to call it and yeah uh, the whole thing was also an exercise in just um, basically seeing how quickly can I do the basic shape? How uh, good can I actually um, visualize and and put these steps in to make a functioning model? And this worked surprisingly well. Um, there's a few minor hiccups, like um, I had to pause the video and then, I, as usual, I forgot to uh, um, yeah unpause it. So um, there's a bit of a jump. Um, but overall, yeah, um, I had most of the video. Also, for the scorpion tail that I'm currently making, um, I actually revisited uh, this after I imported it into Blender, uh, in, into into Des Studio, and um, yeah, I gave some thickness to the tail and basically made it brighter. Uh, you will see this in the end, by the way. Um, the last part is just a bit of yahaha in app in the editor where I show you the finished models um, that you can fish if you play the fishing game that will probably uh, that will definitely release this month um, I hope I'm f done with this next week um, but I don't know yet so the inspirations were obviously I have a desert fishing spot I have desert fishing spots so I want to be able to fish up um, a scorpion fish and a scarab fish this was the idea that I had like a scarab um, like like yeah yeah this was the idea and I don't know if, if it is actually at least it is unique enough so you can tell which where where it is from once you've seen it I don't know if it's actually um, that scarab like um, but yeah I made some fish um, some really weird fish, but yeah, fish nonetheless. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the second one, the scarab fish, um, mostly defined by the by the wings on its back. Um, um, yeah, I, I did. the The whole thing is very simple. So I, I thought about how much detail do I want to add? How much um, do I do I, for example, for the scorpion fish, uh, the first one, do I want to? Have like um, a sheeteen back with plates, or uh, for this scarab, I was like, um, do I want the, do I want to define the wings much more? Um, how much detail do I want to add? So it is a simple model, but how much detail do I want to add? So it is a visible and um, a model that you can differentiate. And I uh, instead went for some key features here. For example, I just uh, copy pasted the the fin on the sides for this one uh, for the for the goat fish. Um, 
and then I thought about do I want to import horns I already made and uh, I decided no I'm going to make new horns um, um, for the for the fish so it's basically a unique horn thing um, and yeah this is uh, this is what I uh, what, what I went with and uh, yeah um, so there's a there's a meadow where you can fish the goldfish and the bunny fish which I'm currently working on now um, and the third biome will be frost or snow um, yeah but um, yeah this was basically um, a good warm-up a good a good um, just a training if you so want uh, just to try out see what happens how, how, how good can I work this how, how good can I make this um, yeah and overall it's, it's really it's it's uh, uh, it worked out and I'm really happy with it um, took me about an hour I think to finish about an hour and a half about to finish all uh, six different fishes but I could basically yeah, basically all the fishes have the same body and the same eyes and I just added the different um, uh, shapes on those to make them a bit, look a bit unique and a bit weird and I'm, I'm really happy how this turned out actually. Um, I could ha pro probably have made the fish a bit thicker on the sides. Um, also I had some trouble with um, importing this um, in death. So, for example, um, I used the trick with the um, not the trick. I used shading domains on the penguin fish, um, and I had to basically uh, rework the um, the domains because there was a mistake. But I didn't catch it when I made it. I only caught it when I tried to apply the textures. Um, but yeah. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of, again, copy pasting going on. Um, I'm doing some base shapes and, and copy pasting the whole thing. But in the end, um, all the fish you look uniquely enough so you can differentiate them with a single view. Yeah, this is uh, the part where I just, um, I, I forgot to record making the uh, penguin fish. And yeah, um, so here's the different fish. This is the bunny fish. Um, this is the goldfish. Um, yeah, the, the, the color scheme is also very, very simple. I wanted this to be, um, you see it, you, you see the colors, you have a visual uh, response to, okay, this is the color, this is the shape, uh, this is the frost fish that I caught. Yeah, um, as you can see, um, I have the different, um, Shading domains here and uh, for some reason didn't work. Also, I forgot to make the uh, texture for the beak. And here you can see that I actually managed to implement the uh, the belly. Could have also made this a bit thicker, um, but it is what it is. Uh, here we go with the scarab fish. And also for the last one, for the scorpion fish, the one that I made first. Um, I actually you can see that I will make a unique texture because I was like okay a flat texture doesn't work doesn't look good enough um, so I'm using GIMP I'm using um, the the gradient tool to just um, give this a new thing yeah that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the video and um, yeah Without further ado, there's in a few seconds you can see the thing in Yahaha, and I will, um, yeah, have this show for itself. Thanks for watching, and see you guys around.